A few days ago on TikTok, I posted this video, which I will insert somewhere here. And basically, a lot of you guys were really excited about it. You were like, come on, Gaia, yeah, let's make it. Let's practice for our interviews and stuff. So that's what I'm here doing now. I'm wearing this blazer that I got, like, in year eight or something. And, and somehow it still fits me. Man, I haven't grown since. So the whole point of this video is to basically help you guys practice for your upcoming interviews. In terms of the logistics of how this video is going to work, I basically got, like, 20 or 20 plus questions which I am going to be asking you guys and I put them in the description box somewhere down below and you can click on the question and I will say it to you and at this point what you have to do is pause the video and answer the question in full and in my previous video which I will link somewhere on the screen I don't really know where to look um, I've also given a few um, bits of advice that you can use so go check that out as well and once you've answered the question you can move on to any other question you can watch this video the whole way or you can dot around depending on what suits you so it's just like a little practice session that you can do whenever you like and quick disclaimer some of these questions are my own and some of these questions have been taken from various websites which I'll be linking down below so obviously lots of credit to whoever created those questions and the websites because it got me through my interviews and it's getting you guys through so yeah I don't really know what else to go with that <laughs> so I hope this is useful so let's get started <laughs> Why do you want to do medicine? Do you think that medicine is the correct career path for you? Why would you study medicine instead of nursing? When did you decide that you wanted to become a doctor and could you tell us your journey? What motivated you to take this degree? What would you do if you don't get a place in medical school? What aspects of the working life of a doctor appeal to you? What aspects of the working life of a doctor don't appeal to you? What do you wish to achieve from your medical career? What impact do you hope to make in the field of medicine? Has anyone tried to put you off from doing medicine? How do you cope with stress and can you tell us how you do this? What activities do you do to relax? What are your interests and your hobbies? How would your friends describe you? What can you bring to this specific university? Why do you decide to choose this specific medical school? Do you think that cadaveric dissection is important for medical students? And could you tell us the reasons why? If you were a student here, what societies would you be interested in joining? Do you read any medical publications? Tell me about any medical advances that you've heard about or read about recently. I've noticed that you've read an interesting book in your personal statement. Could you tell me a little bit about this? What health issues do you think that doctors can't control in our local area? Do you think that euthanasia has a place in modern medicine? What are the ethical issues of abortion? What are the ethical issues of a minor asking for contraception? What are the ethical issues of a patient refusing the treatment they've been prescribed? In a scenario where your schedule is fully packed and you need to see more patients, what would you do? How would you approach a patient who is refusing to take their prescribed treatment? Describe a time when you worked in a team and it worked well. Describe a time where you were in a team, however it was unsuccessful. What are the qualities of a good team leader? What are the qualities of a bad team leader? What do you think makes a good team? What was an important lesson that you learned from your work experience? Did you witness a situation during your work experience where a member of the healthcare team was behaving unprofessionally? And what was done about this? 
What qualities did you learn during your work experience that was important? What important ideas did you learn from your work experience? What did you achieve in your gap year? Explain how to tie a shoelace without using your hands. Describe how to open a water bottle to somebody who is visually impaired. Teach a patient how to use an inhaler without there being one in front of you. How would you define empathy? Can the practice of empathy be taught in a lecture? What is more important, empathy or sympathy? During this pandemic, what have you done to keep yourself busy? How will you adapt your learning and your education, especially if there will be fewer face-to-face -face sessions? If a patient comes to you as a doctor and is anxious about taking the COVID-19 vaccine, what steps would you take to reassure them? Could you describe to me what herd immunity is? What do you think of the UK government's response to the pandemic as a whole? Guys, if you got to the end of the video, well done, you did it. We made it. We went through all the questions. I hope you answered them well. It was a bit dry for me to sit and say it, but you, I was thinking back on mine, like at least I'm helping someone. So that's really, really important. If you want more tips and tricks for your interviews or like medical school life, or you want to know a little bit about me, then hit that subscribe button because it does put a smile on my little face. You can also follow me on my Instagram, on TikTok as well, which, where I'm quite active at the moment for some crazy reason. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope everyone has a good week. I know that London's now gone into tier three, so living my best life indoors and on the streets of London.